I'm not touching it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today I'm going to talk about being an organ donor and whether you should um, to start out, becoming an organ donor is not only an important decision for yourself, but also a very important decision for life that you may save. Um, there, uh, being an organ donor is a selfless act, and there's a great need for more organ donors. There's actually more people on the transplant list than there is for the organ donor list. Um, according to kidney.org, about 18 people die every day while waiting in the U.S. for an organ transplant. Um, you may have some questions about becoming an organ donor, such as what exactly do you have to do for it? How does it work? Uh, what about the crazy things I've heard about being an organ donor? And how do you even sign up for it? Um, to start it out, I'm going to talk about what an organ donor is. Um, according to U.S. National Library of Medicine, organ donor is someone who donates their healthy organs to someone in need of it. It's a gift, a gift of life. Um, experts estimate that one donor can save up to 50 lives with their donation. Uh, the organs you can donate include your kidneys, heart, liver, pancreas, intestines, lungs, skin, bone, bone marrow, and the cornea, which is a part of your eye, like the lens of it. Um, some of these organs that are donate can actually occur while the person is still alive, such as like your kidneys. You can give someone your kidneys, they'll survive. Um, anyone can donate, no matter what the age of the person, person is or their race. Um, there's even reports of successful uh, organ donations from people that are 70, 80 years old. Um, how exactly does it work? According to organdonor.gov, um, at some point in our life, we're all going to probably end up in a hospital, whether it's because of disease or if we're in a bad accident or if it's just because of old age and we're dying. Uh, while in the hospital, a doctor is going to do the best they can to save you, but in the worst case scenario, if you end up becoming brain dead or if you end up passing away, they will go online and connect with the OPTN to see if you're an organ donor. And if you are, they're going to check to see if you're um, dead or if you're brain dead. They're actually going to do more tests to see if you're brain dead or dead than they would if you weren't an organ donor. Uh, once they found out if you are, they uh, only have a small window to harvest your organs. The OPTN is going to start searching for your septic. Um, once they have found one, there's only a short window to transplant it. Um, there's some myths about being an organ donor. Um, before I started doing research about it, I was one of those people freaked out by it, like they're going to take and skin your whole body and there's going to be anything left. Um, that's not actually true. Um, one of the myths about it is some people think if they become an organ donor, the medical staff won't work as hard to save your life. That isn't true. They're going to work a lot harder to save your life as if you were any other person. Um, organ donation is against my religion. Organ donation is actually consistent with many religion beliefs. Um, if you're unsure, you can always ask a member if you're clergy. Um, also, some say that they won't be able to have an open casket because they're going to mutilate your body or something. That's not true. Uh, if they like, have to remove one of your bones, they place a rod in the place so that you know, it still looks normal. You're going to be close, so no one's going to see the scars or the visible signs of it. Uh, when they take away the cornea, it's just like the little one's part of your eye. No one's even going to know that. Um, when they take uh, skin grafts, it's usually off the back, and it's about the thickness of a sunburn pill. So it's just like a really thin layer. Um, also, some people say that they're too old to donate. Like I said before, there's 70, 80 year old people that have donated before. It's just based on how the health of your organs are. Um, how exactly do you become an organ donor? Well, according to mayoclinic.com, you can sign up as an organ donor and tissue donor in your state's donor registry. Um, you can actually designate your decision on your driver's license. And you can tell your family about your donation decision. And you can tell your physician, your faith leader, and your friends. Um, and you can put it in your will. Uh, some people say that whenever you go and stick it on your driver's license or you sign up for it, that they're not going to try as hard to save your life. You know, everyone's kind of heard the stories about that. Well, if you're kind of scared about that, you can always just tell your family member and not officially put that on there. Because if you have your driver's license or you sign up for it, there are no questions asked. You're going to become an organ donor if you pass away. If you don't, you tell your family about that. Then the physician doesn't know that, and then they'll wait until you pass away, and your family, you know, 
if you're suspicious, can check to make sure that your dad before they do organ donations and transplant.